Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got Resurrection Remix version 5.8 based on Android 7.1.1 for the OnePlus 3 and the catch is this is the Black Jewel version so stay tuned for that. So guys, now if you have been following my videos for some time, you already know uh, Resurrection Remix is probably one of my favorite ROMs available on the OnePlus 3 and uh, this one is the Black Jubal's version that is the Black Mix. Now what is different in this ROM is it is based on UberTC which is the toolchain used to compile this ROM. So it does include a lot of tweaks that is going to make a really good appeal for most people. Let's get to the ROM now. First of all, this is the lock frame, which is a normal one. So the fingerprint scanner works. So you have that out of the way. Let's get into the settings and uh, see what all we get. Now, the main thing which I really, really like about this ROM from the official version is that this supports OMS, which is Substratum themes. And uh, Cyanogen Mod has been without theme engine for some time from 14.1 uh, and above. So you don't get theme support on that. This gets around that with the inclusion of Substratum themes. And this is fully, fully compatible, uh, unlike the other Cyanogen Mod ROMs, which are kind of compatible with the, o over, with the older layers manager so that is the difference in this one i'm just changing the uh, display size so you can see it better i am using a dark theme basically the dye tui theme which is uh, something which i really really like so let's get to the settings and see what is the about phone page in the about phone page you can see this is unofficial with oms this is on the 11 12 that is 11 december version so that is the latest and greatest i have been dirty flashing this rom and i've been using nothing but this rom for the past one week and uh, i think i have gone and uh, really really like this rom i am going to continue using this as my daily driver for the considerable future because this does everything which i want to do and it does it better than any cyanogen mod rom or any um, stock based rom or other C caf calf based rom so i really like this one so let's get stuff um this is based on android 7.1.1 which is the latest and greatest so you do get that the security patches is december 5 which is the latest and greatest so you do get the latest security patches now the kernel version is boyufa kernel which is tweaked for this particular rom so being a tweaked uh, kernel, you cannot use the Boyfla config application to tweak stuff other than that. So you will have to flash the official Boyfla kernel to get that working. So that is something there. Other than that, this is pretty much box stock. Uh, you can see this is uh, Pixel XL because I am using Assistant and it does work out. So yeah, I am using a patch for that. So that's why Pixel XL is there. Other than that, it will be normal OnePlus 3. Um, well, A3003. So you will get that. Now, the biggest thing which I learned about this ROM is that this is pretty much similar to what you would expect out of the Research Room Remix 5.8 ROM. So I've already made a video for that. So the customization options are similar, are really, really similar. There are nothing which is uh, well out of place or something like that. So I will be showing that. Also clock style hidden does not work. So that was pointed out by a person in the forum. So hidden doesn't work. So that is one issue which I've found. Panels can be customized. Recent menu can be customized to Omni switch or the uh, normal general UI with the close button. So that is something which I really appreciate. Quick setting tiles can be customized to whatever I have. I really like this layout uh, a lot because uh, it does give me most of the stuff which I need. I would really, really like to have the compass feature which was available with Sajamod 13 to make a comeback. But I guess that is still a bit far ways off. In the lock screen stuff, you do have options for weather, security, all that can be customized from here. Gestures are available with three finger gesture uh, screenshot. So you do have that also. That's pretty amazing. Uh, what, how I use the screenshot in this one. That is something which I really wanted to take care of. If you have the um, three finger gesture enabled, using the three, three finger will capture the entire screen. And with the shortcut of the screen, uh, screenshot option you can enable the uh, just the well the selection mode and you can enable that where it is is uh, within the uh, interface application you can enable disable the screenshot type to take full screenshot or drag area 
so that is pretty amazing i really really appreciate that button customization in the button customization i i'm really surprised to see that uh, the hardware key customization includes the back button home button and overview button for all three tabs that is not a science demo feature that is a cap feature and i am really really uh, helpful that that is a thing available because i normally use uh, long pressing the back button for post closing an application and home button of course i use uh, google now on tap and disable tap action uh, double tapping the home button i normally keep it to turn off the screen that does work out the, these are all the custom actions you can uh, bind your hardware to even uh, well, even ap application can be binded. So that is really, really amazing. I really appreciate that. And in this one, again, you have power menu customization with on the go, which is something which I use a lot. There is advanced uh, restart, playback control, keyboard cursor control, all of that are available. Animation settings, you have scrolling modifiers, you have toast enabler for icons, all that is available and I really, really appreciate that. If you want a full rundown of the features which is available with Restructured Remix, I would suggest you check out the uh, older video which I did of the official ROM, which is official 5.8.0, which was based on 7.1, but still the uh, feature list is similar to this one there are not much of changes there is screenshot crop and share which is an addition with the official version also so you do get that and i really appreciate that so that is it with the settings menu and i really am liking the uh, configuration option because there are a lot there are a lot of settings in here and this is the most feature rich nogat rom available right now for any device i believe because i have been uh, checking out other devices with the research and remix rom also and uh, this is again one of the most feature rich no uh, nogat roms available so pretty amazing in the display options you have live display which doesn't work again it is an ongoing thing uh live display doesn't work and i am not going to use that i don't use that a lot but uh yeah you do need to understand that there is prevent accidental wake up which is linked to the official pocket mode so it will work with the fingerprint scanner if you have your phone in your pocket the fingerprint scanner also does not work so yeah that does work out really nicely in the other stuff sound and notification all of the other stuff is basically what you would expect the other slider does work and i have used it for total silence alarm only and uh button bottom position to none and that is something which i really appreciate that does work out gestures are available on the lock screen for camera flashlight and music playback so that is amazing also about the battle that that is something which i had a bit of a gripe about the boifla kernel with which it comes it has an issue where if you select a device performance curve, if you select efficiency or if you select anything else, the standby battery life gets degraded a lot. I mean a lot because there are a lot of problems with that. Um, it basically means that the phone, when you are not using it, it will still drain your battery. Uh, I am normally used to going back to sleep at 100% or 95%. And uh, when I wake up, the battery is at about 18% because uh, it will be syncing up stuff. It will be uh, eating up the battery life. And that is something which I have been uh, facing with this ROM. But the EX kernel 1.0 for CM14 ROMs, that seems to be working pretty well with this one so the battery life is better on the ex kernel than it is with the boifla kernel which is kind of a mismatch in my opinion but hey that is what you get all of the other stuff are basically what you would expect out of any other science of 14.1 warm so nothing special but again that isn't a complaint either so that is it with the settings menu as i've said already uh, i have already mentioned every setting in my previous video which is based on the same ROM which is the official version this is an official version and there are a few tweaks here and there um, what uh, my, in my experience the tweaks have caused uh, well basically a better uh, experience for me I have not had any uh, lag issues I did not have any freeze ups um, and all that is pretty amazing Boyfla kernel at first start and uh, using it for the first time I did uh, find a few micro shutters here and there but that is again another thing which you might have to take care of um, after a few reboots and after a few tweaks you have done yourself it does get better and I don't have any issues with that so that does work out pretty nicely let's get into the attitude benchmark score which is uh, well about 150 1000 150,800 on the lower side because i took this reading after my phone was heated up quite a lot so uh, it does go up to 156,000 with brief kernel out of the box so 
that is one of the most performance oriented scores which I've received with I do do on this phone so I do give this a pass and I have even seen 165,000 167,000 with other people with the same ROM on the same kernel so yeah there is a very very big performance improvement with this one compared to the official ones now the boot animation is exactly the same as the new one which uh, I really like so I'm going to show you guys so here is the boot animation for Resurrection Remix which is one of the coolest boot animations I've seen with the stock ROM and I really am in love with this one because it, it is a subtle boot animation in, in most ways but it is really really cool. I really like that. And it closes up to say Resurrection Remix and that's amazing. So I guess that should do it about this ROM. Now in conclusion. I have been using this as my daily driver for more than a week and uh, the only downside I've seen is with the stock kernel on the standby battery life. Other than that it is a feature filled ROM and I kind of use all the features on this and it's really really hard for me to go back to another ROM even for testing a little bit. So uh, I would say this is the best ROM for me at least. It is for me one of the best ROMs I have used and uh, the Substratum theme engine is uh, really growing on me because uh, well ab absence of first of all absence of the CM theme engine I still like CM theme engine much better because it is much more unified it's much more easier you don't have to scratch your head uh, even for Substratum uh, Substratum you have to think of uh, what could have gone wrong because I have had a lot of post calls issues because of Substratum. I'm using a combination of a few uh, ROMs here. I'm using modern UIs, uh, status bar icons and uh, it works out pretty well. But the other stuff does make very too much sense to me. Uh, Deity themes, everything else is something which I'm using and uh, it does have its own problems where uh, GApps are just black and the text is black so you cannot see anything. There are issues like that and uh, you will have to mix and match between other ROMs to get it perfect and uh, yeah that is the only thing which I can think about this ROM uh, that and the battery life that is the other two things um, apart from that performance has been great I've been playing games on this I have uh, always the, the Bluetooth connection with this phone uh, with my headphones and with my watch it's connected all the time that does give me a very good battery life uh, apart from the standby time of course so yeah, these are the stuff which I'm ticked about, but uh, I guess a kernel change is sufficient for the battle life fix. Uh, other than that, uh, there's nothing much I can do because CM Team Engine is not ready yet. So I'm still waiting for that. So yeah, pretty good daily driver for most people. For me, it's perfect. So yeah, I still recommend that. I guess that much is it about the ROM then. I hope you guys liked the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.